you know, my hope, what I, what I shared with my 52 sisters, 50 businesses when we started was that I do know that we work well together. I am in every daggone girls group there is. And I, and, but the, but the challenge was they were always outside of the workplace. You know, we're mm -hmm. doing her churches, PTA presidents, you know, we're, we're doing all of these wonderful things. And I was like, why not do it together? Put all of those hours and energy in the scaling our businesses. I think that's going to give us the biggest impact is the fact that we are, coming together for business, number one, and talking to each other with the ear on how can I work with her? Like you guys are both IT. How can we go after larger businesses? Hey, or hey, you're in, you're in DOD. I'm in SBA. I know a contract. Let's, let's collaborate. That's already happening within 30 days. Yeah. Um, and that intentionality is is critical and that openness and in, in saying that is the end result that we want to collectively work together if that is replicated inside and outside of Bo, we are going to change the literal game um, mm -hmm. because as gina referenced um keeping us apart that competition is um is a tool right mm -hmm. but collaboration is another and so we're using a whole different tool um, out of our toolbox and i know it's going to work number one number two i really believe that um bringing awareness to us as a group is going to be powerful um again our numbers are so small and, and, and we don't publicize them, right? So coming together is going to be a powerful tool as well. Why? On the issues we talked about all day, access to capital. It's very easy if Gina or Teresa is denied a loan to, to stay to herself, to keep that shame to yourself. It's a very different narrative to bring 50 women together yes. um, to the mm -hmm. table, showing our metrics, sharing our resources to say, hey, we know the process of getting a loan. And our other tool is we're going to report out. We're not just going mm -hmm. to apply, but we're going to report out a Q4 and see if this mastermind of collaboration and going to banks together and going to businesses for business opportunities together did it work and nobody wants to be on the tail end of saying hey out of 50 businesses uh we gave no money <laughs> we gave no contract <laughs> Right. right. That is a PR nightmare. That's a problem. So we're <laughs> stick with the Bow Girls. We are going to yeah. do it all and we're going to do it together. We're going to do it with style and grace and love and love mm -hmm. for each other. And that's the final thing that I want. I want to shift the narrative that uh, Black women can't. I don't receive any of it. And we're going to show it through our actions. And um, and I think it's going to be revolutionary, not only for our businesses, but our communities. It's going to be great to see our communities take pride in us collaborating. And it will be in our economic benefit as well. So, you know, I just thank you all for saying yes. Thank mm -hmm. you all for being open. Thank you for being positive. And thank you for tying this Bow together on our first <laughs> podcast. Uh, we did it. I promise yes. you. This is, is, is <laughs> thank you, yes. thank you, right, thank guys. you, thank you, ladies, so much. You're I welcome. want to thank our audience for joining us. Please okay. follow these ladies at their website as well as the bowcollective.org. You will see all of our uh, websites, all of our stories there, and you'll start to see our successes. You're going to hear about the contracts we're winning and mm -hmm. just watch out. The bow is coming after y'all. All right. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> all right. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.